Hi everybody, happy Tuesday. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com coming at you with 2018-19-20 Panini Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year Edition. It's a uh, dual product break. So we got four boxes of 18-19 of, uh, Revolution Basketball Chinese New Year Edition and then four boxes of 19-20 Revolution Chinese New Year Edition right there. All right. And there's an early bird special. So let's copy the names here. Or actually the first nine, right? What do we say here? Yeah. First nine spots purchased in green. There you go. We'll be eligible for the early bird spot, an extra spot for you after five times. Four and a one. One, two, three, four, and a one. Fifth and final time. We got Zach Wynn with the win. You're the early bird that catches the delicious, delicious worm. All right, now let's get all your names here. Remember, one spot gets you two teams, so let's double you up here. And, of course, all 30 teams are in. It's a 15-spot break. Let's roll it. Let's randomize it 10 times for this. these two lists, names and teams. Four and a six, ten. Nine and tenth and final time. After ten times, we got Zach down to Ryan. Four and a six, ten times for the teams. And tenth and final time. After ten times, we've got the Miami Heat down to the Atlanta Hawks. All right, so Zach with the Heat, Brian with the Trailblazers, Matthew with the Pacers, Ryan Harold with the Wizards, Juan with the Mavs, Brian the Zeller with the Celtics, Brian Croft with the Knicks, David with the Lakers, Zach with the Clippers, your early bird spot, Sixers, David with the Pelicans, Matthew with the Bulls and Hornets, Jack, uh, Jack Jake with the... Uh, Cavs, Matthew with the Thunder, David with the uh, Nuggets and Bucks, Ryan with the Spurs, Matthew with the Magic, Ryan with the Suns, Zach with the Kings, your other early bird spot right there, Ryan with the Rockets, Juan with the Pistons, Matt with the Timberwolves, Jeff with the Grizz, Jake with the Raptors, Jeff with the Jazz, Ryan with the Warriors, Brian with the Nets, and Ryan with the Hawks. So now trades are allowed, but remember, this does include last year's draft class and this current year draft class. So 18, 19, plus 19 and 20. So obviously, Trey Young right there. Nice, Ryan. Juan. Mavs, Doncic. Right, Jeff, Grizzlies, John Morant. David, Pelicans. There you go, Zion, of course. So I'm gonna pause the video, allow for people to maybe make some trades if they want to. When we come back, we'll have the break. So stick around, BRB. And welcome back, folks. A lot of trade chatter, but no deals were done in this uh, CNY, Chinese New Year edition of Revolution Basketball. There you go. There's everybody right there. So the list remains. This. I don't know who got last bought mojo in this. Damn it. Um, Jeff P., but he, did he get more than one spot? No, he didn't. All right. So Jeff P. with the official last bought mojo. Uh oh, Grizz and Jazz. One spot gets you two teams, so that's it. All right, so you see on the top screen right there, the Nick can. We're going to grab the 1819 boxes first. the I forget what the I guess we'll find out in a second I think it's just everything's the same except it's just Chinese New Year parallels and then some of them can be numbered to 88 and then out of 8 or do they not do 88 
forget. We're gonna find out. Yes, there's now autographs are fewer and far between, but I think they're uh, they're all on card though. They're not every box. There you go, Rory. Always check when if you see your break sold out and it happens to be a a pricey sort of mixer or an expensive product. Always keep an eye out for those mini breaks or those filler breaks to get into that big break. Always double check that on jazbeescasebreaks.com. All right, let's roll. Uh, all those are the base right there. All card chip, ladies and gentlemen. So just keep that in mind. So all of those will ship. These rookie parallels will sleeve and top load. That Devontae Graham is out of 88. Nice. That goes to the Hornets. Matthew Shiro with that. So you can see that's the regular New Year parallel. And that's the one that's numbered to 88. And I think I don't think I've seen one out of eight, but I'm pretty sure it's gold. So good start. Chris Middleton, New Year. Giannis's might have a little extra boost in value. Kawhi. Chandler Hutchinson, rookie new year. Kyle Lowry, new year. Trevor Ariza, new year. Nice DeAndre Ayton, rookie. Hamadou Diallo. Um, DeAndre Ayton was playing some solid basketball until they hit the pause button on the season. Nikola Mirotic, LeBron James, Jaron Jackson Jr., Melvin Frazier Jr., so that LeBron may have some little extra value there. All right, that was box one. Box two. Oh, Nick hit a goal to eight the other night? Nice. All right, good luck, everybody. Plenty more in the store on jazbeescasebreaks.com. Schedule is in the chat. Um, I know we've got a handful of breaks that are lined up, but after that, I got to go through some more orders. I see about 50 orders coming in and see what, uh, see what people are getting into. A lot of pre-orders. So tonight might actually be a bit of a more chill night. I mean, I think it'll still be pretty busy, but I think more chill than what we've seen over the last few weeks. Last few months, to be honest with you, because in anticipation of some of the big new releases dropping. A lot of pre-orders happening, folks. So if you see your team, go and get your team before it's gone, both in tomorrow's Mosaic and Friday's Bowen Baseball, all on jazbeescasebreaks.com. There's Porzingis Green to 88, 22 out of 88. Still Knicks edition here, and that'll be Brian Croft. Uh, there's Metu, New Year, Clay Thompson. Uh, there's also Andrew Drummond, Andre Drummond. Andrew. Robert Williams III, Rookie New Year. John Collins, Jerome Robinson, Rookie New Year, John Wall, Jared Allen, Zaire Smith, Rookie New Year. So that goes to Zach and the Sixers with the Zaire Smith and Jerome Robinson, Zach again, Zach G with the Clippers.
All right, next box. We're still in 1819, and then we'll get into the 1920, which you see in the uh, camera above my above my head. Zaire Smith, New Year, Green to 88, Sixers. And Brandon Ingram, New Year. Matu for the Spurs, Rookie, New Year. For the Spurs, Ryan Shackleton, another Zaire Smith, this time numbered for Zach G. Buddy Heald, Chris Middleton, New Year. Robert Williams III, Rookie, New Year. LeBron James, New Year. That'll go to David C. and the Lakers. There's Robert Williams the third for the Celtics. That'll be for Brian Zeller. Kyle Lowry. Jerome Robinson, New Year. Trevor Ariza, New Year. Miritich. Another Zaire Smith. And the last box. Sorry, just throwing Jerome Robinson around. All right. All right, last of the 1819, and after this we'll dive into the 1920. Luca times the Sean, that, that'd be nice. That would make Juan very happy. And Luca New Year. Luca New Year to 88. Luca New Year to 8. All, all of the above would be nice. I don't, I don't think I've even seen a base rookie card of him. There's Carl Anthony Towns, Chris Paul. We got Kata Bates Diop, rookie. New Year. CJ McCollum, Kyrie Thomas for the Pistons, a green Nikola Jokic, Tim Hardaway Jr. So for the Nuggets, David with that one, 18 out of 88 on that new year, green. And Kyrie Thomas for Juan and the Pistons, back to back. Hassan Whiteside. Isaac Bonga, Rookie New Year for the Lakers, David. Michael Kidd Gilchrist. Anthony Simons, Rookie, that's that. All right, no Trey, no Luca. Now we're into 2019-2020, the most current rookie class. So four boxes of this. Good luck. Uh, that's correct, Sean. 
The, the number eight, or I guess any repeating eight, is considered a lucky number in China, much like the way we think sevens are lucky. I don't know if that's just, I don't know if, I don't know if like Korea or Japan feels the same way about eight. That I don't know. And regional culture may bleed through into, into but yeah, but for China, it's definitely for sure. And then on the flip side, an unlucky number is number four, I believe. Which I think phonetically or or maybe in text is like a I think like death is the synon synonym, pseudon synonym. A word that sounds the same, but spells spell differently, or something like that, or kind of sounds like a, another word. Sounds like the word for death. Mike Tower is saying, yeah, that's that's what four is. So a lot of times, there's a uh, Gary Harris right here. A lot of times, in some Vegas hotels, they will skip. The number of uh, the number the floor forty four, especially if their clientele is a lot of a uh, lot of tourists from China. Apparently, Mike Tower is saying they avoid having dinner parties with only four people. Brian Zeller is saying no double dates. I guess not. You just got you got to turn it into a triple date. There's Joel Embiid, or have a fifth wheel. Poor fifth wheel. Brandon Clark, rookie New Year parallel. There's Blake Griffin, New Year. Chris Middleton, New Year. Hachimura, New Year. It's a nice one for uh, the Brandon Clark went to Jeffrey P. And the Hotch goes to Rui H. Goes to Ryan H. Two RHs. Kyle Guy, Rookie New Year. So yeah, they, they skip the number 44 on some hotel room floors. So if you're ever in Vegas and you want to impress your non-Chinese friends and you notice that, that, uh, that there's no floor 44, you'd be like, hey, do you know why there's no 44? I think I, to I told this story last week, I think maybe when Nick was opening some more of the Chinese New Year. Everyone, do you ever, everyone remember the old story about, uh, about when MGM Grand opened up in Las Vegas? When it first opened up, I don't even know, when, 80s, 90s or something like that? Originally, the main entrance of, the main entrance of uh, MGM Grand was a bridge going into the mouth of a lion. You know, the MGM lion. Everyone knows that, right? I think it's the MGM lion, you walk into it, and then it leads you right into the main floor of the casino. You'd be like three floors up. It looked, looked beautiful. Um, and apparently there's some, there's, some, uh, there's some Chinese folk story and um, where some, there was some myth or some folk story or some parable or fable about walking on a bridge into the mouth of a lion or under it or something like that. I don't know what it was. I'm Korean. I don't know. I don't know these things. Um, <laughs> it was bad luck. So apparently they had, and, and China, and a lot of Asian populations too, I guess everyone really, enjoys gambling. So there's a, there's a lot of tourism from, from Asia to, to Vegas for that. And apparently they had consulted nobody. <laughs> You know, I guess there, there, there was no Chinese kid on the engineering staff or the architecture staff or in the marketing staff went under the radar. There's Lonnie Walker to 88 Spurs. That'll be for uh, Ryan Shackleton. So, right. And then Blackout's reminding, yeah, it took him $3 million to pretty much take it down. 
because they 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 lost they and, and they must have gotten enough feedback and they lost enough I guess business where they're like we can't do this. Especially if it's leading into a casino of all places, where where I think a lot of us get superstitious at the casino. Right, there's there's Carson Edwards. Isn't that weird? How how weird we get just as as society. We how weird about numbers we get. Number seven, eight, four, thirteen. There's Giannis, New Year edition for the Bucks, David. And there's Carson Edwards, New Year for Brian Zeller and the Celtics. How will we we play craps post Corona? From what I understand, it's just gonna be one person there, one person there, one person there. I don't know. Maybe you can squeeze in five people around a craps table. That's maybe that's enough arms length away. They say they're they say that the that the that the box man here and whatever other guys that are sitting around here, I guess those will be O's, right? Will be cleaning all dice. After each person, like like so, when it, when dice rotate out, they'll be sanitizing those. When when it so when it passes from player to player, they'll sanitize the ones that aren't being used, and then re-sanitize the ones that person had used. Right, the croupier, Jack. Exactly, the name of my favorite Clive Owen movie. Here's Tyler Hero, New Year. Not my favorite Clive Owen movie. It's a bad Clive Owen movie. Final two boxes. Good luck. Yeah, the chips are going to be weird. I think they're going to try to sanitize the chips as much as possible too. Maybe they'll have like Clorox wipes or something like that that they'll that they'll you know kind of brush over the 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 rack of chips in front of any dealer. They're going to do that. I've also seen ideas where. Let's give you a three-dimensional look right here. If you're at a table, right, and you're sitting right here, th that's not a four, that's a chair. So you're playing blackjack, right? And the person is right here, that's, the, that's, your, that's your dealer. Some people I've seen that there'll be plexiglass I've seen some places, you can kind of see it, where they'll put plexiglass in between each seat. They'll, they'll, so they'll take out seats and put plexiglass in between. Some places are doing that. I don't know how vague, each, each casino is going to be, I think it's probably going to be different. So yeah, dealers will probably wear gloves, which would be annoying. I don't know how, I don't know how many of you have, have poker nights. With your, maybe not too many anymore with the quarantine, but but try dealing cards with gloves on. Try opening baseball cards with gloves on. I would rather just wash my hands frequently and, sanit and hand sanitize, which is what we do here, than, than wear gloves. You can't really get the get the right feel of the cards. But I'm sure there'll be they'll I'm sure there'll be players. I'm sure there'll be people who go there that'll wear gloves and the mask and the whole deal. You know, I'm sure there'll be more of that. Some people won't care. Ooh, right on top. Is that a jaw? Jaw, 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 jaw. It is John Morant New Year. That's awesome. That's for Jeffrey P and the Grizz.
Nice. Jack B, what's going on? Jack's saying, Jack's saying that the, a lot of the Native American casinos opening up in the San Diego area, Viejas, Valley View, Harrah's. Have you gone, Jack? Like, you got to give us the inside scoop on how the tribal casinos, the Indian casinos, are setting up their, uh, setting up their floor. But th those are some of the, the distancing will be an obvious place, would be an obvious sort of thing that, they're, that all casinos are going to do. And then whether they set up plexiglass to the left and right of you, that's going to be different, I think. How much or how little they sanitize, whatever. There's no regulations on it, so not yet anyway, so you don't know which casinos are going to do what. There's Malcolm Brogdon to ADA. I guess it would be in best in the casino's best interest to get the reputation of being too clean as opposed to being not clean enough. There's a rookie, Bowl Bowl, Nuggets, New Year edition. Stephen Adams, New Year as well. Ah, Pi Gal, that's going to be a tough one. Cards, dice, a cup or a bell or something like that you rattle things around in. There's Grant Williams, rookie New Year. See, so yeah, a lot of lot of lot of games are going to get a lot of games are going to get weird. All right, last box coming up, boys and girls. Last Revolution box. Yeah, the casinos are going to be different for a while. Which, especially in crafts, that's going to be kind of a bummer. There's so much kind of social interaction in crafts, right? The card, the table games, I don't mind as much. Card games, I don't mind as much. You know, I'm not really... I actually need more space at a blackjack table, you know what I mean? It's like, you know... I don't want someone crowding in next to me with smoking cheap cigarettes. At least I get kind of that away from me. Nice cigarettes are fine. But I, I don't know how many they're allowing. I mean, it's however big the, per, the, the craps table is, but... As many as you can fit with the recommended social distancing rules, right? Six feet between each player. Some craps tables are smaller. Some are some are bigger. Some are smaller. Are they all the same size? Maybe they're all the same size. But yeah, I think it's just going to be. I don't know. Yeah, craps. I'm gonna miss because craps is one of one of is one of those games where I do like to squeeze in between a bunch of people and you know put some stuff down. You know, it looks like that might that might not be a thing that we'll see for a little while. There's Jordan Poole. I mean, I, I eventually I feel like rules on that will relax over the next year or two, but. Doesn't look like it's going to happen anytime soon. There's Jackson Hayes, at least not this calendar year. All right, there's Jackson Hayes, New Year for the Pelicans. That'll be for David. There is Jordan Poole, New Year for the Golden State Warriors, Ryan Shackleton. It's TJ Warren for the Pacers. Rookie Ty Jerome, Rookie New Year for Ryan. R.J. Barrett, Rookie New Year. Nice. R.J. Barrett, Rookie New Year, going to the Knicks. That'll be Brian Croft. And that's a nice way to finish it. No autos. Those are pretty uncommon. Few and far between for autos, but some decent rookies popping here. I like that R.J. Barrett. John Moran earlier was pretty cool. There you have it, boys and girls. Joe for jazbeescasebreaks.com. I'll see you next time for the next break. Bye-bye.